is the gate of the kingdom of God. It's a just a gate. Open it. Don't stay there. It's enough. We stayed enough. It's like a, it's like a hollow vessel, you know. You keep on pouring something, it's draining. <laughs> you don't watch the hollowness down, you keep on pouring. Your intention is to fulfill, it will never fulfill. <laughs> We are discussing about the nature of the ego. Instead, we can just make a little spiritual practices like meditation, yogic practices, pranayams, kriyas, mantras. There are many aspects available whichever is suitable for one's nature, one's own nature, start traveling. You will suddenly realize it. It's like finding a big treasure overnight. It's such a gift. So we are discussing about this question, not only the difference between the ego and the higher self, the fulfillment and the celebration, also we are finding a way how to be there, how not to deviate from there, no? how to be there, how not to be deviated. It's very important because there are so many distractions around us, so many colorful attractions. All attractions are distractions. <laughs> the only attraction is your higher self. The so-called attractions are attracted in the very beginning and they are painful in the end. <laughs> but the attraction within you as higher self, it will not attract in the beginning. It will be a boredom. That's why many people they call meditation is such a boredom for them. <laughs> meditation is such a boredom in the beginning. <laughs> because there is no much of attraction in meditation. What are we doing? Just closing our eyes. <laughs> Preventing to see so many beautiful colors around us. <laughs> of course, in the beginning, it, meditation looks like boredom, but it is not. Wait a little bit. Wait a few days, few hours. Constantly close your eyes. The darkness goes away and you get glimpses of light. A day will come, the time will come, the moment will come. Suddenly you become ecstatic. Suddenly, for no reason. Just by closing eyes you become ecstatic. <laughs> Nobody gives anything from outside. No need to give any gift from outside. You have such a beautiful gift within you. Your higher self is such an uncomparable gift. Because the gift is also called God. Mm -hmm.